Hi everybody, my name is Max. I work with Info. We are attempting to create organized channels of communication between the police, the police liaisons, Info, and our general uh, organization here, which is all of you. Please excuse me, I'm very tired and quite sensitive. I'm asking that you be empathic with me right now. I'm presenting information that was just relayed to me in a very hurried meeting with the police liaisons, Elena and Sean, that have, we have been working with. And so I am the, please, just the messenger right now. Thank you. What, uh, what we've been discussing in the meeting we just finished having about half a second ago um, is the proper channels that we're, and organized channels that we are creating. Right now, the point of contact with, with the police department is Captain Sarah Westbrook. She will be speaking one-to-one -one with our point of contact here, who is Elena, with the police liaisons. who will be speaking with me so that I can speak with all of you and bring information to you. We will be finding people to relieve us on our shifts if that is a concern, because it's a concern for me. Um, I'm, I'm going to try and get this information out, and then maybe we can do clarifying questions. But I, as a messenger right now of the key points, do not have all of the information with me. Elena said that she will be coming over here. She actually has to make a phone call right now with the police department uh, the, to call them back. Um, Elena spoke today with Parks and with the police department. They both had some serious concerns about our use of Lounsdale Square and about our use of Chapman Square. Right now, the understanding is that Chapman Square is being consented to our use by the police department on a day-to-day -day basis, uh, starting again tomorrow, Monday. Do you know where the occupation is? They are conceding it to us on a day-to-day -day basis, the given is? the running uh, existence of this occupation. Okay. Uh, they have, uh, they have, meeting in front of the okay. both the police okay. and parks have strongly requested that we don't camp in Lounsdale Square Considering the amount of damage that has been done to the lawn and the general environment of Chapman Square, and they're trying to prevent that, Parks does not have the kind of funds that they need to re-turf these squares when and if we leave. Um, oh, please, please hold questions. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get the, as much information to you as possible before we start doing clarifications, and I'm really doing the best I can here on very little sleep. So the information that that Parks relayed important about sanitation and about the environment. They are concerned about our our use of the parks relative to the environment. They do. They are asking that we don't camp in Lonsdale, uh, Lonsdale Square, um, but we are welcome to use it as a meeting space, as it is a public space. They We talked to them about the toilets on the south side of Chapman Square and whether the second toilet would be able to be repaired anytime soon. They said that was a major repair that would involve excavating the ground and it's just unlikely to happen anytime soon. We asked them about whether or not we would be able to get porta potties in here and also about whether or not we would be able to get taps set up with the water system here. Both of these issues are things that parks can do but they don't have the political capital to do at the moment and that they told us pressure would need to be put for those through the mayor's office. Um, the other, their other concerns were how are we getting trash out of here and that we do get trash not only away from these parks but also into good trash facilities outside of these parks which is obviously an issue for everybody. Those are the, those are the issues I have from parks. The issues that the police brought up is that they have consented to our use of Chapman Square on a day-to-day -day basis but not to Lounsdale and um, who cares? Yeah. <laughs> right, I understand. Please, I'm, I am only the messenger of what the police have trying to express to all of us so that we can take that information and do it the way we will. I'm trying to get it as clearly as possible. The police are doing their best. They don't want to do this. They don't want to arrest us. They want to do us all with no arrests. They're really, as far as I can tell, bending over backwards to cooperate with us at every turn. That's my understanding. They chanted with us today. I just heard that. I'm repeating. I'm, I'm trying not to. They, what they really are concerned about is this street. Right before we all poured into this street to hold it, 
what Elena was hearing from her contacts with the police, which again is Captain Sarah Westbrook, is that they want the street to be opened to traffic. Obviously, we all have a lot of reasons and concerns considering that. We can consider that. But the police's word on it is that they want this street to be open. They don't want us occupying it, and they don't want to keep it roadblocked. The, the point of contact for the police is changing hands. As far as I understand, Sean Larkin will not be working with the police any further from this point. Our main contact right now is Elena. As I've said, we are working to create shifts between the between the people with the police liaison and the people with info so that none of us go insane or collapse on the spot. Um, we are working to do our best to create these organized channels. Tonight there was a bit of a roadblock due to all of the various things that we were all doing and communications not not being totally solid yet. So that's why it took this long for a meeting that happened at 5.30 to get here now. There was no other reason for that. I want to stress that. We are all doing the best we can. Elena and I are meeting tomorrow morning to try and solidify these channels of, of communication. And hopefully by the General Assembly tomorrow night, I will have better news or someone representing info in my position will have more clear channels of communication to express to you. That's all I have at the moment. Okay, so before we go to clarifying questions, I'm going to rephrase again. There was a lot of information that was put out, so what I'm simply going to do is restate what I believe this gentleman said. All right, the first thing is, is that his announcements were in two forms. Announcements from the Parks Department, announcements for the police. Because we are specifically talking about the street at this moment, I'm going to first rephrase that, since that seems to be the issue on the table. What he has stated is that, based on the... The discussion with the police is that the police have requested that A, this street be open and unblocked, not occupied or blocked, and two, or B, that this park over here not be occupied. The second part of his announcement was the fact that the Parks Department has um, stated that any repairs regarding anything, such as the bathrooms, are large repairs and would take too long. And they, were had, they had a concern about trash. So I'm just going to first, because there was a lot of things that he announced, get um, a, a temperature check that we want to just right now at this time stick to discussing to the street issue. Just the street issue and the police. Temperature check. And camping for tonight. Is there anyone who disagrees with this and thinks that we should cover all of these topics tonight? I know. Clarifying question. Okay, so I'm speaking in the, I get your question. What he's asking is what am I referring to um, about the temperature check? And what I'm asking for, I'll, I'll restate it, is there were different issues that were listed in this announcement. The proposal on the table right now is an issue about this street specifically. There's other topics in here, but I'm concerned as a facilitator, this is gonna get muddled. So I guess what I'm asking is a temperature check to prioritize the issue right now of the street, where we're sitting right now. A temperature check to prioritize that as the topic of discussion at this moment. Okay. Correct me if I'm wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. But at one time, but at one time, we occupied both parts. We occupied both parts. We chose. We chose. To get this park. To get this park. To the marathon. To the marathon. Now that the marathon. Now that the marathon is gone. Is gone. Is gone. Um, just, that's not really a point of clarification, I'm just pointing that out. Just a reminder of the process. Okay, so I'm just going to go back. What I heard was a priority to discuss the issue of the street, because you know what, we're sitting in it right now, and the police are stating they want it open. Okay. Just to um, 
to kind of jump to my director report pack, which is going to add to the information that Max gave you. I just got off the phone with Captain Sarah Westbrook, and she asked us what our plan is for Main Street. And she also asked if, when that is decided by the group, if I am allowed to give her that information. And so I'm coming to you um, to uh, ask what that plan is, and then ask if, when that plan is decided, if you want me to communicate that or not. If I can just read, are you stating that we should stick to the issue of the street? Yes? Basically, what I'm saying is that. Okay, that the announcement messed with the process regarding sleeping over in that park. Yes. Okay. is that originally the proposal was strictly about the street, um, whether or not we should keep the street. But now the proposal has turned into, do we keep the street? Um, when I think at the beginning, it, the assumption was we were keeping that park. Now it is, are we going to keep that park at all? Are we going to keep the street? And how is that going to affect our street keeping if we are trying to keep that block? Now I feel we have several proposals that are all kind of going on at once and are all very important. I, I would like to say, as a note taker, I can, I can safely say we voted originally to occupy both blocks and that we succeeded this block strictly on a temporary basis for the marathon. We never, ever, ever voted to secede that block permanently. As a result, assuming that we're not going to give up the, assuming that we're going to give up that block at all has never been voted on. As a result, we can't assume that for this proposal. We have to assume both blocks will be occupied. The street originally was between, it was occupied and it was between both blocks. So what I'm saying is unless we vote to secede that block again, we have to assume for this proposal, the street proposal, that this, the, both, both blocks will be occupied at the very least. 